This episode's called A Black Deep Sea Story, and the next episode's called Charmy's Century of Hunger. Gordon's something is cut off. So I'm assuming we're going to have some fun training, some fun adventures in these next few episodes, at least until stuff starts to get really real. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episodes 136 and 137 of Black Clover. We are continuing the training, getting ready to level ourselves up, and so we can go invade the Spade Kingdom with the Heart Kingdom. So excited for that. So excited how they set that up, and I'm just eagerly anticipating and eagerly building up my hype for it. So I cannot wait to get there. So I say there's not really much to talk about. I say you and me just kind of uh, experience these adventures together. I say we do it. Don't forget if you guys want full length or early access of this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are in the description down below, like always for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave me a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this Black Clover episodes 136 and 137. Let's do this. Meanwhile, deep within the sea, another problem was arising. That looks like Geo and Gifso, Kyoto, Kahono. Okay, I'm kind of hyped for this. It's been a minute since I've seen these boys. The Deep Sea Cavern. They gotta go ask the Magic Knights for help, as it cuts to Noel, who has one of the best relationships with Kahono out there. I love that. Oh, I'm hyped. That would make sense. It'd be a great water training grounds. Look at this girl. <laughs> Look at her. She can split and make two water tornadoes like typhoons. From where we started with Noel, it's where we are now. This... <laughs> As we hear some of the alluring music of the ocean. Reminds you of Kahono and Kyoto and the beautiful song and dance they would perform all the time. So it's not just Noel, we're all at, at Raki, how do you pronounce it, Raki, getting, getting stronger, training. A hundred percent. Come on, Finral. I completely understand Finral, though. If I had spatial magic, I'm never walking, running, going anywhere. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. So, I feel him. Zora made a little trap for him. Meanwhile, we got Henry with a little Black Bull's apron. Oh, and, and Nero as the, uh, as the waitress, because we know how good she is at that. Serving up drinks all around. Black Bulls. This would be quite the training. You get some good work done and get Henry and Nero to serve you some drinks, Charmy to make you some lunch. Especially on the beach too, so it's mainly some fresh ass seafood. Come on, man. You can't go wrong. She's still hearing that song. I'm just trying to think back because I'm thinking about Kyoto and Kahono right now. And I just remember when Kyoto didn't his leg get cut off and like Kia, uh, Kahono's throat got crushed so she couldn't sing. And then I remember them having that little where they came back and did that little thing. Uh, I can't wait to see him again. Speak of the devils. <laughs> I forgot he had a huge crush on Noel. A guardian of the sea. Really? What's up, Gifso? I always love his hair. The void of no return. Hell no. That seems like a contradiction in and of itself. Bring them to the void of no return, but return them. I mean, don't gas us up, because, you know, I'm, I'm feeling it right now, you know. We are pretty damn awesome. 
Now that their resolve has been reaffirmed, now we'll send a couple with you. We just need to know that you're committed to this 100%. Noelle's ideas, when she has ideas, usually work, but they're usually quite out there as well. <laughs> they're usually quite crazy. Oh, I love just this, the, I forget what the spell's called. For some reason, Sea Dragon's Wars is in my head, but like, you know what I'm talking about. The one with the bubble. She's used it since the very beginning. Any creature that wanders in here will never return. Hmm. We are any creatures. We have to bring Asta, anti-magic. Yeah, I mean, he's just the, in case there's any magic, he's easily the best utility to go, you know? Or Finral for the teleporting. Other than that... In terms of... Yep. In terms of utility, Asta and Finral are S-tier of the group, for sure. So, understandable. I like that. Yes. So now we have a very limited Sea Dragon's Cradle going down into the Void of No Return. Oh, we. The heck? We got like fish warriors. Oh, the way this, their things sound like a cock, it sounded like they were gonna turn around with two fucking guns. But nope. Alright. They are the Water Maid. This, this, this is their environment. This is how they fight. The song and dance. Combo spell, Sea God's Descent. Especially in the water, how mobile and fast they are, you know? Look at Kyoto. So elegant with those swords. Oh, that was close. That could have stabbed her right in the back. Oh, we need a Noel crazy moment now. You know when Noel's pushed to the brink of something. I thought it was Kahono giving her the flashes of her mom, but it seems to be something in this cave alone, or... That was Undine! That was Laura Pechka who said that! Okay, this is sick. This is way too sick right now. She can have an individual Sea Dragon's Cradle, like a Mana Zone Sea Dragon's Cradle. That's dope. Well, I think going to the Heart Kingdom, seeing Gaja and the things he can do with the lightning, all that, really put into perspective. It's an octopus. It's a squid. It's a kraken. We're playing Sea of Thieves. <laughs> Charmy's like, oh, squid, we're having calamari for dinner. Finral, good strategy, make it hit itself. Oh my god, she is so clean with it, especially underwater. She's probably so fast with this. Look at her. Oh my god. And then we have Finral with the support. Come on, keep going, have faith in your boy. Come on, there's just no way Noel is beating the Guardian of the Sea. A literal Kraken. I need her on my Sea of Thieves squad. Yeah, see, this is why I don't like the Deep Ocean. I'm getting like, Jesus, bro. The amount of creatures, like, that's why I'm never playing Subnautica, bro. You just be going deeper and bigger to shit. It just can be coming out. Like, what the fuck, man? So this is the Guardian they're going to quell. Okay. It's like a mix between a whale and a goat, honestly, and it had a child guardian. That makes sense with the Kraken, the fish warriors. Mmm, I see. I wonder if there's any sort of special connection there, because water guardian, the water natural mana... She showed him a vision of her mother, what looked to be rocking Noel back and forth. I'm curious if it's kind of like the spirits, though. It's great world building. Like, are there, is there a, I know there's a guardian of the ocean, a sea guardian. Is there a guardian of the skies, a guardian of the mountains, a guardian of the, you know? I'm very curious. Shh. 
I would not be surprised if Aesir came and visited the, <laughs> the Guardian of the Sea. Anytime a character, a main character in anime or anything sees like a, a legendary godlike figure like that, I always think of Pokemon for some reason. And when Ash saw Ho-Oh in the Kanto region, man, oh, it's such a good, like, it's such a good world building. <laughs> yes. Sure thing, last double date was fun. <laughs> Oh, that was one of the craziest Finral fights ever. It's a good throwback right here. This is a good little coming back to the to Raki, you know. <laughs> yeah, hey, it was quick thinking. It was a spur of the moment thing. Come on. <laughs> What's up, Henry? I must say, for what seemed to be like a little one-off, more training. More developing, just seeing old characters. This was a really good episode. Hells yeah. Shouts out Noel, shouts out Aesir. Hells yeah. Alright, off to another crazy wacky episode. Charmy's Century of Hunger, Gordon's Millennium of Loneliness. Let's do this. But it wasn't only Noel who vowed to become stronger. So directly after last episode. Charmy's gonna get stronger with her food techniques, maybe? I don't know. I mean, this is all looking very good. Explosively enhance our mana. Okay. They just want to throw fireballs. Just... All hell just broke loose because they had a good ass lunch. Yeah, Charmy, what kind of crack did you put in this food? Is this like Chick fil A sauce or something? Century of hunger? Okay. This is funny. Alright, Magic Knight's headquarters. I remember him. Hold on, let me see if I remember him. She says she wants to be his student. That's hilarious. She met him during the invasion of the first invasion where it was Radez, Sally, and Valtos, right? And then the other old, I oh, forget her name, but you know, dealt with like the older late, he turned like, I forget. But then Charmy, that's how Charmy met you know, but Charmy was like, oh, it, this that was that time, right? Because that's when, oh, this is crazy. Like this is the dude from way back then. <laughs> I love how she always has her sheep companions there with her. What are they doing? Digging for ingredients, resources, <laughs> push-ups? Oh, they're, they're training. She's got to get that cardio, that one-punch man exercise. She's, she's doing the walk flips. Okay. She's like Rock Lee. She's not like Rock Lee. She's like Brock Lee. Get my pun, guys? I'm a punny guy, you know? Acquire three unknown ingredients that I've never seen before. So she traveled the lands far and wide in search of three mystical ingredients that will change the world. That looks like a fucking thing from Harry Potter, Mandragora. I don't even know what that meant. What what word did he just say right there? The butt hide of the surprise Sasquatch. Tonight, I, Charmy Pappinson, will serve the best man enhancement dishes ever. These look like Shion made them and reincarnated as a slime. What the hell is going on? Come on, guys. Do it and your mana is going to explode. You are going to turn into a senior... Uh, the burger was talking. Oh, right there. That was a little weird, but... Okay, what the fuck? The burger. Okay. That's demon food. The combination of pure devotion and mana gives something like life to it. 
this looks like some Mario villain we're going against, like a piranha plant, except it's a burger plant. I literally thought he was going to eat it. I had a feeling he was just going to destroy it by just devouring it. Okay, Charmy's like, I made this thing too. I'm going to help eat it. So everyone's going to come together to eat <laughs> this monster. <laughs> That is hilarious. That is not what I was expecting. And the base recovered, good. And they're probably full as can be, yep. Damn, that's what, that's the, that's the key ingredient right there. That's what we needed. They realized what they did wrong. Come on, guys. It's the love and passion you put into the food that's everything. They got humbled as chefs. That was quite the crazy episode, though. And I think we're only halfway through, because we haven't even hit the Gordon side of it yet. So, we have Gordon now. Good. Of course, Gordon, feel free. I rarely get to see Gordon's magic, you know. Hmm. Every time they play this song, I think it's a flashback. Which I think it is. Is this his first time moving into the base? Please don't try and find me. My man's running away. Feels like that's his only way to gain strength is to be alone. The forest of poisonous magical beasts. That's probably where he could fit right in, being poisonous. Okay, hey, right, you know, next next step down. The hell, we got a couple of devil monkey homies, and they stole your week's worth of food. That was three days later, and he's still, oh my god, look at how, look at how hungry, emaciated my boy is. Eating with friends makes the food taste a hundred times better. I agree. He's gonna go back to his doll carving. Yep. That is a, an amazing impression. That is so funny. <laughs> that is so funny. Gordon needs to be an impressionist, I'm telling you. That was so funny. Oh, shit. It just doesn't look like poison affects this beast at all. This is the force of poison, poison creatures, poison beast. Oh my god, days without water? Horrible. He thinks his only way to get strong is being alone, but being alone hurts so much, you know? That's what he's imagining them doing. I hope so. Oh, great. Oh, great. They're actually going out to look for Gordon like that. Good. I'm proud. They are worried about him and don't want him to die. 
off walking ducks. He sees all the dolls of his friends. They'll always have your back. Always hold that line in front of you. I loved that episode when we first met Henry. Oh yeah. He's finally realizing. The loneliness is poison itself. I like that analogy for him. So the antidote for that poison is friendship and his homies. Shouts out Gordon. He's a real one. Let's come at this natural creature with love and affection instead of hostility. I can't specifically say. Oh, it's like his eyes changed colors. I was going to say, I can't specifically say, but natural creature would feel the same. But hey, they have to have some sort of magical relate living in this, you know, kingdom. I bet you there are certain magical beasts, same in Hunter x Hunter, that are sentient and can understand that magic knights are here to protect, you know? That's 100% what I assumed. But and they even brought the dolls too? Shout out to these magical beasts. No one's going to be here because they're all out looking for him. I hope. They're all out eating. 90% off the bill, so. That flew away. He Okay, that helps. As long as they never, if they saw that and then still got dinner, I'd be upset. But no, they just never knew. That's just unfortunate. Gordon's the best man. Well, like I said at the beginning, I'm expecting some fun, great adventures, character moments, training, and that's exactly what we got. First episode, fantastic. Going to back to Rake, seeing the underwater village, not underwater village, underwater temple, and helping Gifso, Geo, Kahono, Kyoto again, them dealing with a spirit guardian or a water guardian that, that protects the oceans and is angry and is affecting disturbing the mana. Us finding out that, that is due to it having a baby, offspring, and it being worried of its welfare. You know, and then we saw the Kraken as well. Crazy Noel with her individual sea cra dragon cradles, then the sea dragon, and then the Valkyrie armor, and everything. Well, seeing Kyoto Kahono again, that episode was super dope. And like I said, I love seeing our main characters, whether it be an anime, whether it be anything, see like this mythical beast that's not confirmed nor denied there's obviously myths and legends of things like this but to have that confirmed and not really be super like big like yeah like i compare it to ash seeing ho oh because ash seeing ho oh he's like a legendary you know like oh it's so crazy and he never talks about it like he really he brings it up a couple of times but it's never really like a big thing you know like but it's just like a little thing like damn you know this world really is a mystical magical place and there's those little those little things that make it feel like that but then we have the whole charmy and Gordon, little little mini arcs in this episode, hilarious. Charmy wanting to help her friends, but missing out on what makes her passion towards food, her passion towards food, and that's making people happy eating her food. That's the missing key ingredient. So if she forgets that, her food will grow limbs and try to kill and eat people. So good to know. Gotta remember that. But uh, and then Gordon realizing that his strength does not come from being alone like it used to. It comes from being with his friends. And that's much appreciated and i really do enjoy the magical beast in that one as well seeing these like fox and also i'm not saying i'm not saying this in a bad way reminds me of hunter hunter there are magical beasts in there that are very sentient and very thoughtful well-developed creatures and there's a magical beast in hunter hunter that looked literally exactly like that wolf his name was mike but you know mike as they pronounced him but literally looked exactly like that and it was also very perceptive very obs observative and analytical as well like knew what was going on so shouts out to those magical beasts poison magical forest they're dope i'm excited for more training the next episode is called in zara's footsteps zara's the boy come on it inspired fucking julius nova chrono himself if you guys enjoyed please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias uh, instagram twitch tiktok twitter all at dapper Darius. check out that patreon all that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.